Uh, yes, children, diary entry is, uh, you know, something which is deemed to be a very personal write-up. And uh, when we are learning how to make a diary entry, then we must keep in mind a few things that, uh, number one, it is a factual description. It's again factual. Okay, and it is personalized. It is personal. Okay, personal uh, uh, means like uh, we make entries and diaries about our personal experiences or our personal, uh, you know, emotions. Okay, some uh, something which we don't feel like uh, talking, telling others, something which we don't feel like sharing with others, we can share those things with ourselves. Actually, diary entry is our... Uh, uh, is a monologue. We can talk to ourselves through the diary. Okay, diary entry is the best way to introspect. Okay, what we did or what went, whether right or wrong. So in a way, it's about uh, introspection, maybe for good or maybe uh, about something which went well or about something which did not go that well. Right? So when we write a diary, when we make a diary entry, then uh, uh, we can we consider the diary to be something living whom we are sharing the things. So many people, you know, they name the diary as something, okay? So you can name your diary with something when you actually talk about your uh, personal diary entry. And from examination point of view, you can just simply write dear diary, okay? You can address the diary as diary only, so considering it as if it were listening. So when uh, if we talk about the format that i'll tell you a little later but the characteristics of a diary entry is number one as i've already told you like it's all personal uh, it is written from personal level personal front for our sense so here we need not uh, write complete sentences that's the first basic thing so when i talk to when we talk to ourselves and we don't complete speak the things in complete sentences for example Suppose I want to, uh, suppose I'm very happy. I don't say I am very happy today. Uh, I think uh, when we talk to ourselves, it, it might be a oh, wow, great feeling, something like this. Or when I am upset, then I won't be saying to myself, I am very upset today. I might say, oh, can't, uh, very disgusting. The point is like uh, when, uh, while writing a diary entry, same thing is to be followed. Uh, avoiding the complete sentences should be avoided. So writing the word I and I again and again should be avoided. Okay, avoid writing I and I again and again. But before that, remember that uh, diary entry is personal. So it is written in first person. So diary entry is written from first person point of view. I is there. It's about I. But don't write I, I, I again and again, right? The reason I've told you, like when we talk about, when we talk to ourselves, we don't talk about I, I, I again and again, right? When we talk to somebody, then I say, then we say like, I, I don't think so. But when I talk to myself, then I don't need to say like, I don't think so. Uh, doesn't seem to be so. So I word is to be avoided when we are writing a diary. Because repetition of I doesn't make it make much sense also. And moreover, uh, writing the complete sentences, complete sentences must also be avoided. Okay, especially the helping words, verbs. Okay, so very excited today. Instead of saying I am very excited today, we can say very excited today. Don't know like why so, but maybe because uh, I got uh, uh, Maybe because I got appreciated. So suppose we are very happy today and we have to make a diary entry upon telling like why we are happy. So how can we start very happy today in the seventh cloud? Don't know the reason, but uh, still. But maybe, uh, maybe because I got uh, appreciated. Maybe because I was able to do something. Maybe I did something worthwhile. Maybe I was uh, able to do Maybe I was able to be selfless. Maybe today I was very, uh, I was punctual. So re re saying 
I am very happy today because I have been appreciated because I, I was able to do something worthwhile or because I was uh, very selfless today. So the use of I again and again, uh, it spoils the spirit of diary. Okay. And moreover, uh, when you write a diary entry, when you're describing the past, of course, uh, the tense usage, you should be very careful about. But when you are telling like how you are feeling about it, what your reaction is now, that will be present. So diary entry is actually a combination of tenses. Describing the past in past tense and uh, telling what your experience, uh, reaction right now is, how you feel right now is, that should be of course in present. So diary entry is an amalgamation of, you know, present and past and sometimes future also, what your planning is for the future. So don't like keep in mind, like don't be very fussy about using like ma'am past tense only or present tense. So no, you'll have to use the tense as per the requirement, right? And moreover, remember the most important thing about writing diary is that it's not, a, it's not writing a paragraph. It's not about writing a speech. It's not about uh, uh, telling somebody. It's about, you know, introspecting yourself. It's about telling yourself about something. So when you talk to us, when we talk to ourselves, we have a different way to talk. We have a different way to deal ourselves. So it is very personalized. Okay, so here personalized doesn't mean that you write something in the diary, which your teachers or which your examiners will not be able to read. So the point is like whatever your topic is to write up, you know, uh, that uh, personalized personal tone means that you don't have to be very formal in write up. Formal, for example, when we talk to somebody, hello, how are you? But when, when I talk to myself, then um, yeah, very disgusting or very, very good. It's great. Something like this. So when we are, you know, informal, that tone, informal tone should be there in the diary. Is that clear? So now let's see a few examples or a few tips like how we can make our diary entry more interesting. So here it is. <clears throat> So as far as here the day format is concerned, see day and date. Yeah, on the top when you are writing a diary entry, on the top you can write day and date. Okay, first day, then date. Then afterwards you can uh, address the diary as dear diary. So what you saw or experienced, your reaction to what you saw, style of diary entry personalized it's written in the first person at times you may leave out the pronoun i for example i'm really excited instead of saying i am it's only i'm really excited went to the beach today references to personal memories or details yes you can refer to the incidents or the or the people or the places about whom you feel like giving the reference then chatty or friendly language yes this is very important which i've been telling earlier also the language should be very friendly and chatty, okay? Refer to parents, friends, etc. as you would address them in person. Mom said, Rohit came along, Shweta just wouldn't listen. So refer to the parents or the friends or anyone about whom you might feel like talking in the diary. Express on feelings, the most important thing. Express on feelings, emotions, reactions rather than on the event itself. Okay, so it's just not about, you know, about telling what happened, where it happened, how, how it happened. It's about like how you feel about it. Is that clear? So don't make your diary entry uh, something like a paragraph or a speech. Let your diary entry be an outlet of your emotions. If you went to the market, so you have to write a diary entry about your visit to market. Now you won't write in the diary, like I went to market there, I purchased this or that, uh, I spent this much of money. It's not about this. The diary entry should be about like how you feel after your visit to the market, how you feel about it, what your emotions are about it, what your reaction is, or did you learn something out of it? Right? Today I learned altogether something new. The market gave me altogether a new experience today. Never felt like this. Wanted to just shop a few dresses, but diary, you will be amazed to know that I was able to 
I was able to reconnect all new sorts of memories just because I went to market today. You know whom I met? My old friend, the one who, uh, whom I never expected to meet any time I met her today. So I forgot about purchasing dress because this is what I always wanted. So it could be anything, not just one friend, it could be anything. So point is like, what, whenever you are asked to describe some event or incident or about your meeting with somebody, just don't give a description about that event or incident. Just tell how that event impressed you or how that event, you know, uh, changed you or how did it, how does it matter? Okay, how, did, how that incident has inspired you or, uh, or what? So it's impact upon you or upon your feelings or emotions that is more important than what you did in the market. Is that clear or not? Because that is what the children usually make a mistake of. Paragraph writing is absolutely different than writing a diary entry. The topic can be same, but in the but eventually what happens? What you write over there that happens to be different. Let me give you a small example of the difference between diary entry and a paragraph writing. So far, you people have been able to write paragraphs or articles. Okay, paragraphs or articles, or, or you can say factual description, if I say, they have been like all together based on what, when, where, how. But when you write a diary, it is basically going to be how all those things affected you, how you feel about it or how you react to this or how you have become a better person because of that or how you have become a worse person because of that. Your impact of that incident upon you as person, that is more important in diary entry that you must take care of. So here is a sample diary entry. Let us uh, make out like whether it is okay or not. So solid examples are there. You visited your friend in Kolkata during the October break and enjoyed the puja festivities with him, right? You are really excited about it. Complete the diary entry, choosing the correct options from the ones. So the question you've got to know that you went to Kolkata and you attended a puja, you attended puja festivities over there. So let's see now diary entry. So day and date on the top. Then you can also write dear diary or you, if you don't write, never mind. Had a wonderful time. See, in the very beginning, it's not written like I had a wonderful time. I has been deleted. Don't use I unless and until it is very important. So had a wonderful time. See the sign of exclamations. Dash in, dash in Kolkata. Okay, now the point is, uh, with the most elaborate and innovative themes, spent puja holidays with Arijit and his family. There was a strikingly beautiful idol. These are the uh, blanks, I guess, one, two, for one A, with the most elaborate and innovative themes in Kolkata. So what, so you have to find out like what will go here out of these six options, what will go here, dash in Kolkata. Yes. Then Dash saw huge pandals decorated. So children right now in front of you, six options are there and you have to fill up, the, fill up the correct ones here. So you take your one or two minutes and fill in the blanks on your own. And it's after you filled up the blanks, the main thing you people have to do is see how the diary entry has been written. You don't have to bother about the about like uh, blanks. Don't focus upon blanks, but focus upon the style of writing diary. Take your one minute. Yes. Uh, don't send any message. Just do it for yourself. Okay. Now we'll be starting or continuing with the topic voice. <clears throat> That day we had just talked about the difference between active and passive voice. And today we are going to discuss the voice uh, uh, sentence wise or tense wise. So when uh, it is present in definite tense,
present indefinite tense is either it is only first form of verb or it is first form of verb plus s or es that is for the positive statements or neg and negative statements take do or does plus not plus first form of verb and same is about the interrogatives so when we change the voice of present indefinite then what happens what happens to be the rule of passive is am or are plus plus v3 third form of verb right otherwise the present form is in both tense this was also present this is also present so tense does not change in voice if i say i read a book daily so here read is first form so when we change the voice it means that the act that the action will become the subject that is reading a book will be more important than a book is read by me daily so is read so a book is read suppose it was a, he reads a book daily even then the answer would be a book is read by him okay so then him would come got it so this is would depend upon the kind of subject it is now if it was books books are he reads books daily then books are books are read by him if i say if i talk about uh, he does not tell a lie so what will be the voice of this uh, passive voice of the statement he does not tell a lie hmm lavanya will answer lavanya give the answer okay dipali yes ansha your answer is correct dipali yes ma'am you speak the answer he does not tell a lie make it passive ma'am uh, ma'am lie hmm. is not hmm uh, told by him yes correct a lie is not told t o l tell will become third form told a lie is not told by him yes okay now next sentence is write down all of you does seema cook good food Okay, all of you change the voice. Does Seema cook, cook good food? Yes, Manavit. Ma'am, uh, is good food cooked by Seema? Yes, very good. Correct answer. So now it has become an interrogative sentence, and the passive will also become interrogatives. So the rule is same. Whether this or this or this, rule will be is M R plus third form. So when we remove does, so is M R would come. and first before that we would see like what the object is food so good good food will take is so is good food cooked by and in the end in interrogative so the main thing is like in, in the passive voice neither the tense changes nor the sentence change okay sentence means if it was interrogative it will also remain interrogative okay and if it was positive it would also remain positive tense also doesn't change and sentence also doesn't change so write one more example uh, only this tense we can do today we can continue with the tense tomorrow other tense 
the sentence is do children enjoy reading books okay all of you give the write the answer in your notebooks do children enjoy reading books come on give the write down the answers in your notebooks Yes, uh, Ansha. Yes, Bell has gone. Give the answer. Are reading books enjoyed by children? Yes, Jia Chandvi, but your answer is correct. Are reading books enjoyed by children? Are reading books नहीं आएगा? Are books Hmm. So reading books because reading is uh, not you know it's a participle only. So are reading books enjoyed by children? So that was okay then. So are reading books enjoyed by children? Even Gushan, your answer is correct. And in the end, put a question mark, Gushan. So are reading books enjoyed by children? And in the end, a question mark. Okay, fine, children. We'll we we'll see you tomorrow. And today, do the diary entry and start sending me the homework notebook, complete one. Okay. side by side